Hi, my name is Jerry Trainello. I would like to talk to you about my EasyMark box joint jig. Box joints always seem to be in style and they always look good, yet they've been around forever. I don't know how long, I don't think anybody knows, but I will say this, the Shakers used them in the early 1800s. And when I made my box joint, I used this traditional jig right here and got very good results. If it has a weakness, the weakness is if you want to change the size of the finger, you have to change this pin. And changing the pin requires making a new jig. You don't have that problem with the EasyMark box joint jig. It's very flexible. I did a little demonstration to show you its flexibility. If you'll notice, I, did, I cut this with a typical table saw blade with a 1 8 inch curve. Here you have a 1 8 inch finger, a quarter inch finger, a half inch finger, a three quarter inch finger, and a one inch finger. This was all done very simply indexed with the Easy Mark box joint jig. If you had to cut this with the traditional jig, it would take five jigs to do this and it wouldn't make any sense anyhow. When I, when I decided that I wanted to make a new box joint jig, I had to get it clear in my head what I wanted. And I came up with that I wanted a jig that was very simple and easy to use. Not only simple and easy to use, but that was visual. It had to be visual. There, there are times I lose my concentration or I get interrupted and I want to know where I'm at. And with this new jig, I have just that. Now, when I, what I did is I decided to go on the internet and see what was going on. And there's some very talented woodworkers on the internet. One of the jigs that really impressed me was where the guys are using a threaded rod as a lead screw. And on the end of the threaded rod, they have a gearing and a handle to turn that they index the work with. I thought this was a nice way to go. But it wasn't simple enough for me. I had to have something even simpler than that. So what I did, I went out and designed my jig around this ruler. This is not an ordinary ruler. It's made of stainless steel, and you'll notice it has V grooves and through holes. The V grooves are at every one quarter of an inch, and the through holes are at every one eighth of an inch and they're spot on, it's very accurate. Let, let me show you how I, I made this jig. This is the jig itself, and you'll notice that it's two panels, one panel over the other panel, and one panel is fixed to the base and doesn't move. The other panel slides and is movable, and the reason it slides is because it has a ball bearing draw slide. And that ball bearing draw slide works very well. I've used it on my rattle lifts before with excellent results. As a matter of fact, I have one hooked on my rattle router table for the past year and a half with excellent results. So I decided to use it on my Easy Mark jig. And it works equally as well. Now you will notice that the ruler is mounted on the movable slide and it rests on a plate, a small plate that is attached to the fixed panel. That small plate has one hole in it, only one hole. But that one hole lines up with all the holes in the ruler so that when you are moving this, every one of those holes on the ruler will line up with that one hole in the small plate. And the reason for that is that with your work attached here, if you move this ruler one eighth of an inch, that work is gonna move one eighth of an inch. You move it a half inch, the work will move a half inch. That's what I meant when I said the visual part, because you'll always know where you're at, because you'll be at where this pin is. Where this pin is, is where your cut is. So you have the visual aspect, you'll never get confused if you're interrupted. You could buy all these parts. You can buy the birch plywood, you can buy the oak, you can buy the ball bearing drawer slide. The one thing you can't buy is the EasyMark ruler. I have a patent on it 
and I sell it for $12, and that includes shipping and handling. You know, it's a worthwhile buy just to have it around the workshop to have an accurate ruler. We're gonna do a little demonstration now just to show you how easy it is to use this jig. But I'm not gonna do the demonstration. I'm gonna have Claudette do the demonstration. Claudette's not a woodworker, but she comes into the workshop a lot. I showed her the jig and I took a few minutes to show her how to use it. And she's gonna cut half inch fingers with it. So let's let Claudette get to work. This should demonstrate to you how easy it is to use the Easy Mark box joint jig. I'd love to hear from you. Please get in touch with me at gst22 at verizon.net. And I want to thank you for watching.